Today we're going to be talking about the updated outprocessing process for Osan Airbase. Here is the agenda of the items that we're going to be covering, including the outprocessing timeline, our SharePoint, the Osan outprocessing guide, and the final outprocessing teams page. We've updated the final app processing procedures to better fit the intentions of the AFI, as well as to improve efficiency and reduce redundancies. With the old process, some milestones were not clear, and the outbound assignments org box was inundated with inconsistent packages that required additional resources to correct. We are not only codifying certain elements of the process, but centralizing them into a Teams page. However, the basic elements of the app processing for members will remain the same. The same requirements for PCS will be needed, and everything will need to be ready at the final out processing appointments. We are just changing the guidance for members and changing the final out process to include CSS coordination. Part of the need for an overhaul of the assignments process has been the introduction of the Accelerated Orders Initiative, or AOI. Having come into being slightly before COVID, the implementation has been relatively volatile. We are attempting to create a post-COVID process which assimilates the best features of the lessons learned in digitization while introducing more rigid processes and customer focus. At the beginning of the process is the initial assignment brief, which we are eliminating because it crosses streams with the VMPF initial assignment brief, as well as the information contained in the OSAN outprocessing guide. Whereas before, members would have their virtual outprocessing checklist loaded upon completion of the initial assignment brief, now we will be loading checklists monthly when our members are six months out from their DROS month. For the majority of members, this is when their outprocessing begins. Here is a brief overview of the whole process, starting at the six-month mark before DROS. Outbound assignments will load the VOP checklist, and the member should access the outbound assignment SharePoint in order to obtain the documents and references to begin their outprocessing. Then, between the three to six months from DROS month, Outbound will automatically draft orders based on the DROS month. The three to six month range varies based on the section's workload, but we will work on closer DROSes before later ones. After orders have been drafted and until the member departs, we will accomplish any amendments as they are required. After the member received their orders and completed all their outprocessing requirements, they are ready to schedule their final out. First, they must outprocess with their CSS, who will coordinate their final out appointment with the MPF. CSSs will scan and upload all the required documents into the Teams page. Then, the member will attend their in-person mass final out appointment at the MPF. The SharePoint contains all the most up-to-date versions of all forms and guides that are required to outprocess. The link to the SharePoint is listed here, and the screenshot of the outbound SharePoint can be viewed below. The sections are divided into either CONUS or OCONUS and with or without dependence. Additionally, you can see any updated guidance that we will post as it flows from AFPC. Each of the sections includes a copy of the OSAN outprocessing guide, as well as all the documents that are required to be completed for that type of PCS. The OSAN outprocessing guide is a comprehensive guide that will help members during their PCS. It is important that everyone who is PCSing has access to this guide. In addition to a step-by-step -step guide for outprocessing at OSAN, it also includes a frequently asked questions section, a final out checklist, and more. The final out checklist is an easy way to make sure members are ready to attend their final out appointment. For scheduling the final out and uploading final out packets, CSSs will get access to a dedicated final out team on Teams called 51FSS Outbound Final Out. This is a separate team from the 51FSS MPF team. To obtain access, CSSs can email the outbound assignments org box, or anyone who currently has access can invite them to the team. Once CSSs have access, they will be able to use the final out signup roster, as well as their own squadrons folder. Final out appointments are conducted every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the MPF, building 936 in room 214. There are sessions at both 0800 and 1400 on each appointment day. Appointments should be scheduled two days prior to the projected departure date if possible. In the event that the member departs on a different day, or the normal final out day is on a holiday, they should be scheduled for the next further day, 
which is three to four days from the PDD. At the final out appointment, members will receive their 3.30 and NATO orders to prepare them for departure. Here is an example of the final out sign up on the Teams page. Members are simply signed up under the day and time that they want to attend and includes their name, unit, and PDD. Prior to the final out occurring, the CSS should load all the members' required documents in the Teams page under their squadrons folder. CSSs were already conducting their own final out appointment, so this is just a shift in the process to include coordination with the MPF. The CSS will make a folder for each individual in their unit folder, titled with the member's name and final out day, and upload the package in one PDF file. With the documents uploaded prior to the final out day, Outbound will be able to review the member's documents before the final out, which will make the process streamlined while also ensuring every member departs with the correct documents and processing. Here is a straightforward example of a member's folder in their unit folder. Now that we have learned the new OSAN out processing procedures, we can see how we are modernizing our workflow while still maintaining positive interoperability with our customers and our CSS teammates. The fundamental features of base out processing are still there, but it is just now more centralized, allowing for more consistent results and identifiable points of bottleneck. The new digital tools allow convenient access to our partners while still allowing us the flexibility to change and flex as new dynamics and information become available. Thank you for watching and please reach out with any questions using the contact info here.